Hello everyone, I am back to share with you my haul from Recycled Reads in Austin. And I'm gonna start out um, start out by saying thank you to the very nice lady who works there because she is always so very helpful. Um, she kindly let me know that she had a collectible Jane Austen in the back. Did I want it, she asked. And of course, you guys know that I said yes, I absolutely love Jane Austen. So um, I did get to score this book. I love this cover. That would be perfect for a journal in and of itself. Um, I do also have a um, collectible, but look at the gilding, the gilding on this one. It's beautiful. So thank you for that. Also um, have this Odyssey. Nineteen forty-six, and I have this Marie Antoinette that um, Terry saw first. If she doesn't want me to have something, you guys, she knows that I'm gonna want. She hides it from me because I will do my best to try and coerce her into letting me uh, purchase it. Because um, some things, you know, I do want to do a Marie Antoinette um, journal. I have a lot of stuff collected on her. I have this um, music book and I like the um, size of it and it looks a bit different so I like that and another one and look at the aging on these books lots of aging I didn't look to see, yep see to be very careful with those and I have um, this illustrated opera book that's gonna go nice in some journals I'm just going to um, coffee dive them the pages first but that will add into some of the other um, opera ephemera that I have I also have I got this story of music as well because of um, the images in here as well. Love that image. Look at that layout. So this is gonna look very nice in um, some journals. So it's just got all the um, more famous musicians. And I have this cause um, I do wanna put these in journals as well, but um, mostly for the photos, for the photos, for all of the images. Probably not that one. That would go in an art journal, wouldn't it? Well, that one's very interesting, isn't it? Can you guys see that? That is very interesting indeed. It's interesting um, how you can find weird stuff in um, some of these older books. And they're quite heavy. It's pretty much the same thing, just more images. Okay, on that one, don't wanna get too deep into that. It's Italian Renaissance. And now I wanna show you guys all of the music books I have purchased. And this one, all this stack came from a haul that we did yesterday. I looked in a place that we don't normally look, but um, the lady said that these had just been put there anyway, so that's why we haven't come across these yet. I also have um, 
interpretation of French song because I'm doing some Paris journals or working on some. It may take me a while to finish them. Look at the aging on this one. It's just amazing. And got some French verbs and another, a couple of others over here that I'm not gonna pull out. Let me go ahead and show you these. So, came across this one, just a couple of pieces of that. Some rigoletto. And I love these um, operas. Some nice aging on this one. And the sound of music, you guys. Lovely aging on this one as well. And this is just uh, not really crazy about this one, but. And I love the little images on um, here for the Watson book. And I thought it was another image that I liked. Or maybe I was wrong. Anyhow, there's that one. And I thought these were cute. These are um, geared towards kids and I love that they will go nice in some kids journals or some of the journals where you guys use like the cartoon images and stuff the kid books the golden books and stuff and there's that one okay so now I have these, and these are very lovely. Look at that. And a few of these, um, but it's, it's music paper. Got a couple of those, some violin studies, and I wanna see what that one looks like. Nineteen fourteen. The letter was written, and this one's kind of thick. A little bit more in this one. Lots of music paper, you guys. So, what am I going to do with all of this music paper? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make up some sets of all the um, vintage papers that I have, and I'm going to um, offer them on um, Etsy, I believe. I may post them to um, JJ Boutique as well, so you guys keep a lookout for that, because there's just no way that I'm going to be able to use all of this stuff. And I will, I'm sure, um, do a couple of racks as well. Love that one, that's Mozart. And I've got a couple more of these plays. Beautiful. Love all the imaging in those. Those are gonna go in with that book that I showed you guys about um, 
opera. We got some chopping. And Harmony's ready to go outside. More chopping. So, is it chopping? Copping? I believe chopping. That's the way I'm going to pronounce it. A little of that. And this is Beethoven, and I have got quite a bit of it. Very nice. Okay, I've got some Debussy. Quite a bit of it as well. Okay, I'm glad this is almost to the last video. And I just love this one, you guys. Mozart, look how much of it. And look at that image. Lovely. Quite a bit of it. Okay, that is going to conclude this video. And I have one more haul to share with you guys. So stay tuned for that one. Bye.